well. Okay, it's the, Saturday, the 9th of August, the and we're on out, day six of our picture. excavation <laughs> at Church Hole Cave, and it's going really well now. We spent the first three, three and a half days clearing the backfill from the trench because we've excavated this trench before and from the last couple of days we've been finding new material, bones, stone tools. Uh, we're sieving all, this, all the sediment to find the smallest fragments that we can and we're beginning to build up a picture of the sequence of activities that have taken place outside the entrance to this cave. I've just uh, come down here and within a minute found this doesn't look very exciting but is. This is part of a blade or bladelet, a very small piece of flint, very regular, made very well. And this could well be Magdalenian. So it's it's obviously broken, it's in half, it would have come down longer than this. And you never know, we might have the other half in here. Excellent. What we'll do is we'll record precisely in three dimensions where that is and then uh, um, it will get bagged up, it will get cleaned and it will we'll have a, an expert take a look at it. Square three or two? Three. Three. Well, essentially because digging is destructive, um, after we've excavated, the only existence of the site is in the archives, so you have to, as far as possible, record not only your finds, but the different deposits and how it, how it all relates together. So my job is to um, record the finds either as individual finds for which they get 3D coordinates um, or as bulk finds which means that they're put into finds trays and then sort of bagged up later on. Some of the material that we've dug up in the past two years people have been to collections like at the Natural History Museum, you take your material, you go to a collection and you compare the two which helps you identify species and things like that so some some of that work has been done already but that will have to happen for what we're doing this year. Yeah we're, we're finding uh, little flakes of flint, very sharp but very small and what these people were doing were bringing the flint from maybe uh, tens or even hundreds of kilometres from the site because there's no flint available here at Creswell Crags. Flint is very good for making nice sharp edges, for, to make knives, to make uh, points to put on to arrows or spears. So they were bringing the flint in and they, then they were working it on the site to make tools. And we're finding some of the little chips of flint which are the results, direct results of making those stone tools. At the moment when the, uh, the people in the trench have cleaned up a small section, they fill a bucket, uh, it then comes to us that they have picked out what they can see, so it, that might be flint, it might be bone, whatever, um, then it comes here and then we got to wet sieve it, which means forcing water through it, cleaning it through a very fine sieve. Uh, that way we can pick out smaller pieces of bone or smaller pieces of flint um, and uh, with a lot of agitation, a lot of shaking. Yeah. Um, it may seem boring and laborious, it probably is, but then you suddenly find something which uh, has ob obviously been missed. We've got another piece of flint. This is a flake this time. So this probably wasn't used as a tool, it may have been but may have been part of the production process. So that's great. Within the space of 20 minutes, two flints out, that's great. We've only had one so far, I think. Well, I'm going to leave it there for now because we need to plot it in 3D first. So I don't want to disturb it. But afterwards, yeah, we'll dig some more once it's all been plotted and taken away. Get, to get a view of what, what they were doing here, we want to know what tools they were using, what, uh, what animals they were uh, killing, were they... Uh, were they after the furs and the skins of the animals? Were they after the meat of the animals? Um, what were they doing with the reindeer antler? Were they making um, various tools or bits of sledges, that sort of thing? And so, so all, all of the kind of activities that they were doing.